Hi, this is Amir with the US Stock Highlights here on Share Talk for Wednesday, the 24th of March. Starting off with Aptos Biosciences, where we've had a decent gap to the upside. Bear trap uh, below uh, $4 and then uh, gapping through both the 50 and 200 day moving averages. Current position is that um, at least while we're above, uh, I suppose the best place at the moment is the uh, uh, the 200 day moving average at $5.17 above that. Uh, we're looking for higher prices and hopefully up towards that uh, resistance line there from uh, July. Currently promising us a, tar uh, a target as high as $9, which is obviously last year's resistance area. So above $5.17 and the 200 day line looking for nine dollars and aptos and uh, hopefully that could be seen as soon as the end of next month a uh, stock which uh, i don't think is too familiar around these parts uh, vinco or vinco ventures uh, here we've got uh, a situation where the shares have uh, also had their massive gap uh, higher in january we've taken a while to consolidate after that bouncing and bear trapping just below the 200 day moving average at two point two dollars uh, 34 Current situation is that while we're above the uptrend line from the beginning of the year and the 50-day line at uh, three, call it three dollars eight cents, uh, we could head up towards a retest of recent uh, resistance uh, post January resistance at five dollars, and uh, that may be seen as soon as the end of next month. But uh, the, I suppose the big uh, plus point here is that the risk reward here, uh, with a stop loss just back below the 50-day line, is reasonably tight, perhaps too tight for some. Uh, moving along to another of today's uh, big risers, and uh, we've got a color star technology uh, on the podium at the moment. Uh, here we've gapped through uh, uh, the old February resistance, and also we've gapped, I suppose, through the August resistance from the end of last year as well. That peak there around the uh, $1.49 level, and uh, while we're above that, or we can hold above that on an end of day close basis. We're looking not only to retest today's best levels around uh, two dollars eighteen, but also hit uh, the top of the rising uh, trend channel uh, from July last year, implying a target as high as three dollars. Which basically takes us back to where we were in August two thousand and nineteen. But uh, the uh, key here is that we hold above one dollar forty nine, and at end of day close uh, early this week, or for the rest of this week rather, uh, above uh, that one that one forty nine level should be enough to take us higher. Moving along to a stock which is uh, uh, in interesting in terms of its bullish configuration at the moment. Uh, here we've got um, uh, Synodyme coming through and uh, the uh, chart here uh, is notable for the uh, break uh, through the 50-day moving average which we actually had yesterday and the gap higher that we've had today, a narrow gap but still a gap nonetheless and that's actually means that we've got sort of a double uh, island uh, reversal so gap down there and gap today, uh, today uh, but also a two-day gap there at the bottom so it's uh, one hell of a uh, gap formation but all of that means is that uh, while we're above the 50-day moving average of $1.45 we should be able to head up to that August resistance line projection from uh, 2000 uh, well the the summer of last year August 2020 at uh, $2.68 so above the 50-day line uh, around that $1.45 $1.50 area up to as high as $2.70 over the next four to six weeks. A uh, big mover today and one uh, that was covered a stock that was covered earlier in the week is uh, Dolphin Entertainment so it's happy to happy to see that and uh, quite amazing really that uh, when you draw these trend lines you're, they, they seem to be a long way away uh, I think uh, when this was drawn the, the peak was uh, 18 dollars at least on yesterday's session managed to hit the target there at uh, 32 dollars in fact exceeded slightly current situation is we're looking for support to come in at or near i suppose 18 dollars 33 uh, and while there is a no end of day close back below that the floor of that gap overnight then we could have a retest of 32 dollars plus over the next few weeks and perhaps not over the next few hours as uh, this stock seems to be trying to do Moving along to a stock which I think is new, Phoenix uh, New Media, uh, new here for the uh, for the US uh, highlights. Uh, here we've had a break of uh, last, well, the mid mid month resistance. Uh, that was at one dollar ninety seven. So while we're above that uh, notional neckline support, uh, then we could head towards the top of the rising trend channel from June last year, as high as three dollars thirty over the next two to four weeks, and perhaps even sooner for Phoenix New Media. Uh, stock which uh, covered a while back but uh, 
hasn't been i think in focus here for quite uh some some time uh, you'll be able to see that you can see from uh, the daily chart why that might be the case uh, we basically uh, topped out with uh, two tests of the 200 day moving average once in december and then in uh, uh, last month current situation though is it looks as though we found uh, support around uh, i suppose that the the, the uh, top of the gap from uh, november around the four dollars 80 area narrow bear trap below that but uh, the big plus point here is that we didn't fill the uh, floor of the gap there at uh, uh, $3.99 uh, and uh, at least while we're above that uh, we were looking for higher prices ideal scenario today is that we have an end of day close above the 50 day moving average of $9.56 which seems to be quite likely and if we can manage that then the target here over the next uh, one to two months is as high as $24 at that October resistance line projection if you're cautious on the shares maybe you wait for a break of the 200 day moving average at $12.83 but it looks as though an end of day close above uh, the 50 day line around uh, $9.50 uh, should be enough to deliver further upside and recovery for high point resources. Uh, moving on to a stock which uh, uh, where I questioned the uh, reason for people buying uh, buying into it a little while back but uh, Hall of Fame Resort and Entertainment uh, clearly uh, the possibility here of being a post COVID post pandemic winner. Uh, we managed to gap up today and uh, nearly touched the uh, implied channel there at the, the, the implied target at eight dollars 30 plus uh, that should hopefully be hit over the next few sessions or at least uh, the next couple of weeks uh, especially while there's no end of day close back below the floor of uh, the overnight gap at five dollars 30 so pretty good risk reward situation above five dollars 30 lo looking for eight dollars plus on a hall of fame resort stock which is not so fami familiar uh, parts id i may not have looked at this before probably not because uh, there's not much charting material there gap through the 50-day moving average and through neckline resistance uh, that was at seven dollars 77 but at least while above the floor of the gap yesterday's high at seven dollars 39 we're looking for not only a retest of uh, the february resistance uh, towards nine dollars 50 uh, but also over the next one to two months as high as the top of the rising trend channel from December up towards the $12.50 uh, level, uh, maybe by the end of April going into May for parts ID. Uh, just a few stocks to go now. First one is um, one which uh, I don't think uh, we've covered here before. Inventiva. Uh, here you can see that uh, we've got a situation uh, where the uh, shares have uh, pushed higher after a period of weakness, gapped higher. Uh, through neckline resistance that's there at uh, $13.80 and while we're above that we're looking for a, a retest of the initial 2021 resistance through uh, the $19 level and maybe that could be seen as soon as the end of next month if you're cautious on the stock maybe wait for an end of the day close back above the January resistance line and the 50 day moving average at $5 rather $15.50 plus uh, before assuming uh, that we're on our way with Inventiva. Uh, just uh, three contenders left. Uh, first one coming through now, Prodex. Uh, here you can see that uh, the shares have uh, delivered a bear trap from below the $24 level. Above that, we're looking for, uh, obviously, we've already had the 200-day moving average there towards $28, but we're looking for a retest of February resistance uh, through $33, uh, hopefully by the end of next month, and then on uh, maybe looking on to May, a retest of the uh, last year's best levels uh, towards $42 but uh, at least initially up to uh, the $33 area while we hold above uh, the uh, broken neckline resistance there just shy of $25. A stock which doesn't sound very 21st century but is uh, one of the risers at the moment Freight Car America. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that works out but anyway there, here we have it. Um, while we're above the 50 day moving average on an end of day close basis at $3.56 Looking for an initial $5 target and then maybe up towards the $6.50 area at that uh, August resistance line projection by the end of next month for freight car. This stage only really back below that uptrend line from uh, October uh, around the $3 level really delaying the upside scenario. Finishing off with one of the day's big rises and a stock which has been covered here quite recently which is quite nice. Uh, Wise Key International. Here, the message is that while we're above the initial March peak there at $15.80, uh, we should be looking towards uh, further decent gains, uh, perhaps as high as $35 by the end of May, 
uh, while we hold above that a particular neckline resistance or initial resistance from last week. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.